ready? We're rolling. We rolling, we rolling, we rolling. Today, I just, the topic is God is love. The reason why I came up with that is because I feel like at one point in my life, I was like, what is God? You know what I'm saying? And if I, could, if I could say that God is one word, I would have to say that God is love. Like if it comes down to like choosing one, just for me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody might fill that blank in with something else. The reason why I say that is because obviously it's like that unseen force that you can't visualize, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you could visualize the God in yourself. You could visualize, you know what I'm saying? God speaks to you in different ways, you know what I'm saying? It's God in almost everything. Even certain things that's negative, or something that you might not like, what somebody might have said to you, you might stay, take that as negative. You might take the comment as something that, you know, it's how you look at things. That's why even when taking criticism, or even when, you know, in sparring battles with enemies, it's always good to study and actually do the one is called. Do the one is to do the knowledge. Break it down. When we go through our daily days, you know what I'm saying? We don't we don't do the knowledge to things. We don't we don't break it down. This is why a lot of women is heartbroken and in misery or whatever. Because they ain't do the one to the man that they was trying to get with. They let the man run game on them. They let the man pipe them down, make them feel like it was love, but it was a cheap thrill sadly mistaken at the end of the day what it's all about is being sure double checking put people put people to the test fuck what you heard put people to the test test their character test their integrity test their love is all of these things capable to even deal with me to even speak to me yeah, you're a person, I'm a human being, but what makes you on my level? No, it doesn't. Why? Because I study. Why? Because I do these things. Why? Because I'm disciplined. Why? Because I does me. You feel me? And I know who I am. God. I'm love. Exactly. So this is why I chose to share this with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of artists, a lot of men, and a lot of people that's claiming to be kings, presidents, and all that, they ain't gonna tell you this, you feel me? You could take it as though I'm saying this on an egotistical level, but I'm actually trying to share something that empowers me so that you can break it down in your life and apply it to yourself. You feel what I'm saying? It's a little bit different. So that's why today we was just building on the number one thing, just knowledge and how knowledge is important. How knowledge is up there with God and love. Then, of course, we got understanding, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I could be spending all this knowledge to y'all, all this knowledge to a person, all this knowledge to whoever. But then if they don't understand what I'm saying to them, or if they can't comprehend mentally, then my words have fell on deaf ears. Like in the Bible, if you want to quote, don't cast my pros upon swine. You feel what I'm saying? Why? Because I could have a message, it's even musically, it's whatever. Like I can let you hear a song like Black Power. And you can say, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's going to move everybody different. It depends on your consciousness. It depends on your spirituality. It depends on the love in your heart that you got for your people. You know what I'm saying? You might want to listen to some bullshit that's on the radio that, that's hypnotic. Not even understanding that. You might look at people on the radio like they're better than me. Thinking that they're above me. Thinking that they got a little more money than me. But not knowing that I'm the truth. And that they're the watered down version down with Lucifer. Just to get their riches, just to sell out, just to make money. But this is why I need y'all. So I could be a walking trial and tribulation of an artist that made it without fucking selling out. And you could look at me from the bottom up. But you're gonna know what? I'ma even say that at this point, even if motherfuckers try to follow my blueprint, you will never be me. You will never be me. I don't give a fuck if a label tried to take everything and put clone you into being me. You would never fucking be me. You would just be a fucking clone. Just understand, this is the real motherfucking me. You feel me? 
Because there's all sorts of shit that exists in this day and time now. You got clones, you got aliens, you got different shit going on. And fuck if you know it and fuck if you don't. Because at the end of the day, I know what exists. Because I'm what? You already know. And to know is to know your cipher. To know what's around you. To know what's going on on the earth. Because this earth is mine. This land is mine. Everywhere I swing my motherfucking hat, it's mine. I'm a black woman stone. I don't worry about beef. I don't worry about bandits. I don't worry about gangs. I don't worry about nobody. You feel me? And it's not even to say like, yo, this nigga think he tough, this nigga think he that. Because that's far from it, son. I'm just so blessed. And that's just going to show that you attract what's in your mind. So if I got love in my mind, and I got, you know what I'm saying, understanding, and I got knowledge, and I got wisdom, you know what I'm saying, and I got power, and I got equality, and I'm, I'm, I'm bringing all of this into my cipher, I'm bringing, breaking all of this down into highly explosive, even when I, even, like you say, God sees everything that you do, I could sit up here, even for my own son, and, and bless him and pour blessings over his head. But he might be too young to even pick it up. But don't you know that the Almighty that's bigger than us, bigger than me, sees that shit? That's why I'm blessed. Don't, don't, look, don't look to be blessed by people that's around you, you know what I'm saying? That's a big thing. A lot of people, they show love to somebody and they get so angry because the person didn't show the same type of love back. It's bigger than the person that you show love to. It's bigger than that. Don't be so simple-minded. It's not tit for tat. You dig what I'm saying? I hate to deal with a person that's moving like that. But don't be used either. Don't let somebody take you on a journey or take you for a fucking ride and use your love and kindness and goodwill as a fucking doja. Don't let people do that to you. When motherfuckers try it, put them in their place. At the end of the day, this is what it's all about. That's what God is supposed to do. Show you the reality. If your reality is warped into some bullshit, pay attention. Tune in to Black Rolling Stones. We gonna bring you back to reality. Just like you went up the Rikers and you came back. It's gonna be a reality check. That's what we do. We are not here to fucking add on to the lies, add on to the bullshit, add on to the fabrication, add on to the fucking Jennification, add on to the motherfuckers that's leaving you down. We ain't signing up for that shit, my nigga. We ain't signing up for that shit, my nigga. We kings out here, we gods. And we leading, yo, know, and we don't give a fuck who know that shit. It's not only me, it's a nation, my nigga. And to tell you the truth, I don't need no fucking co-signing. I don't need nobody to tell me who I am. I don't need nobody to help me, nigga. I'm doing this shit all by my fucking self. I'm a boss. You feel me? And that's the bottom line. Y'all niggas is pussy. Y'all niggas is looking. Y'all niggas make all types of fucking excuses to be where you at, nigga. You can never be down with me, nigga. It will never work out. Shout out to my son Fetty, nigga. It's real rap out here. We doing what we do. Shout out to everybody that's rolling with me. Shout out to my son Wes. He produced that Batty Queen shit. That's my my son. Those are two of my bros from Harlem, nigga. They from the next block. I don't even fuck with y'all dudes, man. Y'all dudes be crossing y'all legs when y'all sit down, nigga. Y'all niggas sit down and pee. I'm a fucking boss, nigga. I piss on your fucking embassy, nigga. Black Rolling Stone.